Hey guys, Lord of Flames here, and you'll be wondering what just happened in Final Fantasy Freddy's Minecraft movie Final Night. It's mostly a remake, of course. Besides, what really just happened? What you just saw? That during the part of the final time when Fred Caton, or mostly Michael, since all this time, was mostly kidnapped Christian Smith, almost close to, to put him into a spring lock suit into spring trap, but then they mostly stop him who are mostly the children because let me explain about this one here we go during when Christian was walking towards the dining area to yell them to come get him because there is no hope for him to stop this from happening or save those children if they don't care but they mostly help him this time because they know that he's not the killer because there are some reasons that kids always recognize the night guard outfit only. Anyways, they help him and they try to tell him to stay away from one single child who is mostly possessed going to free, who is mostly is Cassidy. But then the lights turn off, then Fred Caton appears and dismantles them. He kidnaps Christian, puts him in the safe room and plans on making another sacrifice to put him into a spray lock suit to die. But till that time happened. But before that, he explained that he does this every time because he wants to see her again. Which is mean, it's his wife. Mostly it's Caitlyn Resica who mostly appear in the past audio drama that you all know of. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. But anyways, that he wants her back so badly because that's the only way that he wants to be a good person he always been to get her. Mostly that he wants her back so badly. That's the only, so he thinks in his mind that only way to do that by killing so many people to make so many sacrifices to bring her back. But how is that gonna work? I don't know. I haven't explained the whole tight thing yet. Anyways, it didn't work so perfectly since his plan failed because the children appeared in the safe room to stop him and like in the media games sometimes he is afraid trying to get away but Christian tried to stop him as well but he did, it, that didn't work for him to be a good punch until Michael had no choice to wear it, the spring lock suit because much how he knows or we all know he's an immortal since we all know back in the lore explained about it until the springing logs killed him. Well, mostly locked his body so he won't escape this time. So, yeah, he died in that time, but he will be back for 30 years. And the children are now free. They are mostly gone because remember when they said that they will be free until the killer is dead. And it worked. They are finally set free. But what about Cassidy? Well,. That will be told for another time till Fast vs. Fright remake. But anyways, by mostly pressing a secret button that closed a secret wall to that safe room, it will be shut and never be found again. He left the place, but never get a chance to leave. When someone held a gun, pulls the trigger and shoot Christian, he didn't manage to escape or leave. Someone who did that to him is Vanessa, or we used to call her Vanny. She mostly uh, walked toward the safe room door, <laughs> or something like that, and she tells him who are mostly going to be something more, a more bigger ritual, and the time will come for those two. So what happens after that? Well, 30 years that spring trap is still being in that safe room. But for Vanessa, she mostly left the place to start a big ritual. Well, mostly going to get a name very soon to create more killers out there. Remember when he, remember when Michael or Fred Caton said that he created more killers out there to the outside world, which means there's more killers out there that he created for a ritual. So it's going to be a bigger plot to Fast Bear Fright remake war killers out there. What does this mean? What will happen for Vanessa? What will happen to Golden Freddy? Those times will be told.
told to the remake of Fast Fred's Fright. Besides, going free, well, or rather, Cassidy, that she might return, or rather, set up for another Easter egg moment for her name to be told, or rather, a flashback. Who knows? If she might come back just like the original Fast Fred's Fright movie I made back in time in 2016. But anyways folks, I hope you enjoyed this explanation for what just happened during when Fred Caton or Michael got been springlocked to death while well, mostly still immortal and trapped in there for the safe room for 30 years and Vanessa will start a ritual very soon and Christian's body will be left to rot and be found and put in the graves and we have to wait for another time for his younger brother who will mostly will take his place to be the nerd hero who might try to stop this evil from happening. But we all know that didn't work so well in the last night movie. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this. Did the Lord of Flames here? I will see you guys next time. Bye folks, have a wonderful day.